Hi everyone, I'm back at Lynn Shores for another nature diary. It's the 4th of May and it's gorgeous weather. It's been raining for a couple of days but it's just, the sun's just come out and all the birds are coming out to play. Um, it's warmed up quite significantly, it's about 15 to 16 degrees today. Uh, there's raccoons begging for food. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. I see a wild turkey, which is the first time I've seen one since I started doing these videos. <laughs> it's a male and he's displaying or being territorial. A friend of mine asked me to do my turkey impression. They wish to remain anonymous, but here it is. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like it. Yeah, so he's marching towards me, so I, I should probably stop doing that. Look how beautiful that sky is. Unfortunately, avian flu is spreading through this area, which means that hand feeding of birds is temporarily not allowed. The contact can help spread the virus. But I was looking back at some footage I took of hand feeding chickadees at this location, and I'm currently reading a book which talks about how birds see. So I thought I'd talk about that because you can kind of see in the footage how the bird is moving its head around to help it see. So let me pull that footage up now. Humans have binocular vision. The image created by each eye overlaps and most of the detail we see is at the centre of our vision. Vision from bird species to bird species varies. Owls and hawks have different needs, for example. But many birds have a much wider viewing plane than we do, able to see much further around themselves. With most birds, most of the detail they see is on a horizontal plane. As this chickadee lands, watch as it looks up towards my eyes to assess how much of a threat I am. This chickadee will see a strip of detail. Next, the bird looks down at the food. It then tilts its head. This enables it to look down at the food with one eye, but up in the air, in case of any predators, with the other eye. Next time you see a bird looking for worms or grubs, such as a bird in the thrush family, like an American robin here, or a black bird in Europe, watch as they run forward, and then cock their head to the side. This is so that they can focus one eye down at the ground, watching for movement. Well, I always like to have a look out on Cranberry Marsh. There's not a ton there right now, some ducks just landed. And there's some mute swans out there. But I'll tell you what isn't out there, it's snow and ice. So I'll, I'll give you guys a quick look. Maybe we'll compare it to how it looked in February.
If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll have seen that I've been to this meadow a couple of three times now. Uh, back in February, it was covered in snow. Last time I was here, it was looking a little bit worse for wear, but at least the snow had gone. Now you can see it's kind of turning green. Grass is growing and there'll be more plants arriving soon. Well, Lake Ontario is looking a little bit warmer, but still not quite ready to go for a swim yet. Well, it's time for me to start heading home. It's almost dinner time. Or as my folks back home would say, my UK West Midlands brethren, it's tea time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a subscribe. Every subscriber helps. It increases the chances that this channel will get recommended to other people who haven't seen it yet. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, which will be about half of you according to my stats, Please, if you enjoyed this video, even in the slightest, give me a subscribe. And I'd like to say hi to all my new subscribers that have joined in the last little while. And also, even if you're just a long-term subscriber, please don't be shy about leaving comments and that kind of thing. If anybody has any feedback, questions, anything like that, I uh, quite enjoy talking to you guys in the comments, so don't be shy about that. Once again, thanks for watching. Happy birding! Oi, raccoon. Yeah, I see you. Well, that doesn't mean I've got something for you. Oh, God.